This question is just so incredibly easy, and yet it like totally throws people off. And the reason is that it's kind of violating the normal rules of algebra that you're used to, right? I mean, we normally have to get x equals y equals c equals d equals, and so that's how we know when we've accomplished whatever algebra task we were given. But the SAT works a, a little differently sometimes, and it's not violating any rules of algebra, it's just giving you different instructions that you're not used to. So follow instructions. What do we want? What are we being asked for? We're not being asked for C. We're not being asked for D. We're being asked for C plus D. And what do you know? Let me use the highlighter here. C plus D is part of the equation that we're, we're given to start. So you cannot solve for C and D separately. They're, it's not possible because we only have this one equation. There's two variables, one equation. It can't be done. But it's very easy to solve for C plus D as a unit. And so that's what we're going to do. Take your eyes off of the C and D. Treat them as if they're one thing. Just how would we get rid of it? We'd want to isolate it the same way we'd want to isolate X. There's a 3 being multiplied in here. Don't multiply it in. Not going to help. Right? We want to get rid of it. C and D are already kind of separated inside those parentheses. Keep them separated from everything else. Don't mix in other stuff. Just divide by 3. The 3's go away. And what are we left with on the left-hand side? We're left with C plus D, the thing we want. And what's it equal to? 5 thirds. That's it. That's the whole question. So literally, what do you need to do here? You need to move a 3 from the left side of an equation to the right side. That's the entire question, super simple. But I get why it's a little tricky because your habit is so strong that that idea just doesn't even come to you because you're just so used to distributing that three and then solving for C and D separately. You just need to know that the SAT is sometimes asking for slightly different things and so you gotta give them what they want. Don't just robotically go through algebra like you always do. Pay attention to what they're asking for. There might be a simpler way to give it to them.